Hi, this is Doug Jansen, Product Specialist in the Denver office. Today we're going to look at uh, Fibonacci's, or a uh, certain type of Fibonacci's I like to call extreme Fibonacci's. Um, what we're going to take a look at is the highest high and lowest low over a time period, then with the Fibonacci retracements automatically calculating in between those points. Um, we're looking at a two minute crude chart here, and this is a pit only crude chart, in other words, pit hours only. And um, what our lines are going to do here is they're going to start drawing on the first part of the day. This blue line at the top is going to calculate the highest high throughout the day, and the lower blue line is going to calculate the lowest low. The middle blue line is the 50% retracement from those two high and low points. And then our Fibonacci lines are the uh, gray lines, starting with 0.214 here at the bottom. Our next retracement is the 0.382, of course then 618, and then 786. You can see today's activity, we went on both sides of the midpoint early in the morning until we established a trend around 9 o'clock. Market trended higher and pretty much stayed above its midpoint throughout the day until the close, and we, cl we closed pretty close to the midpoint of the day, which was right around 88.84. Now we can also take a look at this with additional sessions. So if I change the session information to show the overnight activity and the top session, our Fibonacci values now will calculate since the beginning of the overnight session, and they will calculate all the way up through today's top session. Now if you want to look at the, se the sessions um, separated by each other, you can go into the formula for the line 7, custom study, and you can change where it says bar IX instead of start of day, you can pick start of session. And you would have to do that for each one of the curves to display the recalculation at the start of each session. Now this particular indicator, line 7, works on intraday charts. Now to look at daily charts, you want to use lines 7D daily or higher. So if we go to the next chart, which is a active crude continuation chart, it's the same theory as the intraday calculations, but we have to specify how far back we want it to go to start the calculation. On this particular look back, I have 251 trading days, which is roughly a year's worth of trading. And it will start, of course, to calculate one year ago, and it will show this lower yellow line, the lowest low the upper yellow line the highest high throughout the year, the midpoint or 50% mark is the middle yellow line, and then of course our retracements starting with the lower gray line is 0 0.214, 382, 618, and 786. Interestingly you can see going back a year in the crude market we started off lower but then we pretty much held above the midpoint almost most of the year. The big sell-off of course brought us back to the retracement, brought us down, used that midpoint as a resistance point now, and now of course the market has sold off, made newer lows within the last month of trading, and we're now approaching the 0.382 line. This particular formula uses a hidden function in CQG. We don't have many. The hidden function is the clip function. I'm not going to try to define it in this video, but you guys are more than welcome to uh, back into it. The parameters that I use, or the one parameter in this formula, is bars back. Again, the line 7 and line 7D custom studies will be available on our website next to this video for download. And here are the calculations for each one of the Fibonacci retracements. That's it for today's video. Thank you.